Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I'd just keep it really relaxed and kind of kick it back old school and do a what's in my bag video. Um, I used to watch these all the time and I figured it'd be nice to sort of just see what's in my bag. I just got a new one so um, I've actually been keeping it pretty organized making sure I don't keep a lot of junk in there um, and I've also just cut my hair so I don't really know what I'm doing with it so I'm keeping it like this for now, you know the 90s halfway ponytail, you know what I'm talking about? Let's jump right into it. So I recently just purchased this, um, I don't know if you can see it, this Saint Laurent um, shopper tote. So I got this actually the 1st of February. I got it in the black, which is actually pretty hard to find. I got it off um, the UK website, which is a little bit cheaper because of the conversion rate right now. I'll do, I don't think I'll do a bag review for you right here, but I'll just do a really quick, like, you know, the size. It's obviously like a really large tote. I'm sure I saw it from, um, and you can have the charm here. So I actually saw this uh, on the Anna edit, and I have been thinking about it for a long time, and I finally decided to just do it, jump on it, because I needed a new work bag, and this seems to fit the bill. There is no zipper, though. But in Boston, that's not really such a big deal. Um, and it is large enough that it holds everything. I keep all my, like my wallet and stuff usually in my jacket or in like a little, the zippy thing that it comes with anyway. But let's just sort of start pulling out stuff that I've been keeping in here. So uh, first off is my scarf because I live in Boston and we just had a blizzard. So that's important. This is from J. Crew, I think, and I've had it for quite some time. It's just a long gray scarf with fringe on the end. Let's see what else. Got my water bottle. That's important. Um, this is the Camelback Eddie. Um, I, use this, I use this for work every day. I think this is probably, how much is this? 600 milliliters. So I really, I have no idea how that much in, that is in ounces. This is just really easy to use because I like that it's like a little straw here. I have the clean canteen and the swell bottles, but I didn't like have that I need two hands to twist it off. This one I can just flip the straw open. You gotta stay hydrated during work. Next I've got my pencil case. This is from Muji. Um, I actually use this with my bullet journal, which is also in here as well. But um, this is the denim one, and this is the last one they had in the store, so I don't know if they still have this, but I just really wanted a pencil case to hold all my pencils, because I, all my pens actually, because I, um, I like to sketch, I like to just like take down notes and I like having different colored pens in here as you can see. So I've actually got a little Muji ruler in here for um, when I just need to, when you just need a straight edge, you never know when you need it. And I do use it for my bullet journal quite a lot. And then I've got two of these black, sorry, a black and a blue precise um, V5 Pilot pens. These are my favorite pens to draw with or just to write notes with. I like the retractable ones as well, which is actually the one here. So I really like those as well. I have the Muji pen. Uh, this is the 0.5 in black. I love these two. These are fun to draw with. And then these, I don't know if you guys have seen these. These are the Stabilo pens. Um, they're just really, they come in a, like all sorts of colors. I think these are 0.88, but it's kind of nice to make to write notes with these sometimes because it's nice to have colors to just mark stuff. It zips up like this, really easy to use. I have the bullet journal that I use the pens with. Um, and so this I got just this year, beginning of the year, I actually started around the end of January. But this is where I keep all my notes. I don't think I'm gonna dive too much into it. I've been loving it so far. I just like where I keep all my notes. Um, it's just, it just makes my thoughts more organized, especially like with planning videos now, I can actually see like when I need to film, when I need to edit, all that good stuff. So that's always with me. So I've got my wallet. This is just, I don't use like the big wallets anymore because they're. I find that having, I use only card holders now. I find that using wallets, they're just too large. And I feel like I can't, I like having smaller bags when I'm just like out and about. I usually use like a tote when I'm, doing work or going to work because I, I feel like I need everything. But if I'm out and about, I like using a small bag. So I find that it's 
the best thing is just to use a um, a card holder so that has all my credit cards my id my my charlie card which if you're from outside of boston charlie card is just what we use for our trains um, this is just a fendi card holder that i got a, like three years ago and this is my everlane uh beanie if you haven't seen it uh this was in my january favorites video i'll link up somewhere here below either side my sunglasses these are my ray-bans i'll actually put them on right now these are the wayfarers and the the tortoise shell but these are the polarized ones <laughs> so i actually haven't been able to wear these for a long time because it's been so cloudy out out here for the past two months we just had a blizzard and more snow came so i'm looking forward to when i get to wear these again but i like to keep them in the case here so that, that they're protected but I really really like these and gum because I love to eat and this is just handy to have if you're talking to people afterwards which is always I've also got mittens because it's Boston so these are the Patagonia ones um, these are actually really comfortable so they're sort of I don't know if you can see that it's fleecy on the inside but it's got little clips here so you don't lose them but I wanted specifically like mittens that you can fold over. I'll try one, I'll, I'll show you one. So you put it on like this and the thumb is covered and then you can cover this up if you're extra cold. I like having this bit because I use my phone a lot and I find that if I have gloves or anything, they just don't work on my phone or even the ones that have the, the little tape on it that makes it work on your phone. I find that like it, it just peels off over time and just, it doesn't work so i like having these because these are also really warm the keels cactus flower tibetan ginseng hydrating mist i like to keep something like this in my bag just like um something to refresh the face in the middle of the day my face looks a little bit dull typically i like the caudalie um what's it called oh what's it called the serum i'll link it down below i Caudily the mist one. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. It's just really nice. It's really refreshing. The smell isn't too overpowering and I got the travel size so I can just keep it in my bag. Aesop, Aesop. This is the hand sanitizer. It's called the Resurrection Rinse Free Hand Wash. I like having this as well because if you live in the city you know the, how important this is. Um, the Caudily Hand and Nail Cream. This I just got. I haven't really tried it for too long yet, but I figured it's you need hand cream in the winter and I figured I should really get better about moisturizing my hands. Okay, I'm gonna butcher this. I don't know if it's like EOS. E EOS. This is the Raspberry Lip Balm. They're really cute to travel with and I find that they don't dry out. I find that some lip balms they can or chopsticks, they just sort of like get really waxy and gross. But this one I find that it's lasted really well. It's really cheap. They're like two dollars. And the last thing, which is part of the bag, but it's detachable. But I'll just show you. So this is the pouch that comes inside the bag. So I keep stuff in here as well. Uh, let's see what's in here. This is just like glass wipe for my glasses. I do wear glasses. I hate having smudgy glasses or for my sunglasses as well. This is a lipstick. This is the Chanel Rouge Coco Shine in boy so this is actually what i'm wearing right now it's really sheer so if you ever need something just to a little bit of shine to the lips this is great the clarins instant light lip perfector in 07 i mentioned this in my no makeup makeup look but this is really nice because it's really comfortable to wear so in the winter i find that if i put this on it just never feels like it's drying on my lips i feel like it's actually really i feel like it's actually pretty moisturizing and then i always carry an emergency brow pencil with me since i don't have a lot of brows always like sometimes i'll just accidentally wipe it off so i like to keep one with me um, usually it's not the one that's my favorite because it's an emergency one. This is the Chanel brow pencil, sculpting eyebrow pencil in Brune Cendre. So I don't really love the formula of this one, but I want to use it up. And since 
you know, it does the job when I need it to if I just needed an emergency brow filling. So that's there. And then, whoops, that just fell off the table. And then here I just got some coins, some quarters. But that's about it. So this is now empty aside from a few coins. And my bag is also empty. That's it. So that's it guys, um, that's what's in my bag. I will be shooting a, a updated skincare routine soon, so I'll upload that next week, I believe. Yeah, let me know what are some things that are essential in your bag. I'll link some of the products down below. I don't think I'll link everything, just because some of them are just like gum and I don't know, my water bottle, but maybe I'll link that down below. I will see you next time. Please have a happy Valentine's Day. I will see you soon with my next video. Bye!